Okay guys, welcome back to another build video. This one is, is a level 70, level 50 to level 70 build. And this one is not a burst build. This one is kind of a stick in between, get out of there build, all right? Usually you're running, this, this these type of levels, you are running with somebody, all right? You are running with somebody. So you're not alone anymore. You're running with somebody. The reason why is it's gonna be like this, all right? So basically, you are you are with a friend that is maybe level 90 or something that's helping you out with leveling. But at level 90 needs a little bit sustain too. So what you're gonna do is that you, as a lower level, level 50 to level 70 ish, you're gonna use Lightning Chain. The reason why Lightning Chain has a damage over time nuke ability, right? But keep in mind, if you're doing this, the mobs are gonna attack you but your friend is gonna be up front. So you are actually doing a portion of the DPS. All right, keep that in mind. So you actually helping him a little bit with DPS since he doesn't have movement speed, right? You're helping a little bit with DPS, which is does a good, good amount of damage, lightning, um, the lightning chain. And also what, what you can have as a backup system is chain lightning. What chain lightning does is that, is that it doesn't matter if you if, the, if, if your friend is right here, you were chain lightning that guy and it connects to him. All right. The cooldown is it's OK. So you will heal him again very fast. Look at that. It's a very fast healing. And also you can use lightning and it has a, it's at a good distance. So if you see the mobs coming closer, you can run and you can still hit them. So this is a run. You can say run and gun loadout. All right. So you, most of the times you will not use your, you will not use the lightning beam, due to the fact you're only going to use it when they keep on coming closer to you. So most of them you just walk. I use chain lightning. Walk with him. He's going to use his abilities, 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 and then after that, when his abilities, he gets hit. Chain lightning, because you only you're gonna you're gonna burst him to heal. You're gonna use burst heal on him. And since the fact that you have your skill points good as an arcane or as a mage type of uh, healer, because you are a healer sustain now. You're going to the healer sustain build. This, you're going my way, all right? So this is more for sustain, helping the guy out. And because you don't, because you don't want him to die, all right? Keep in mind you're locked in that position so you cannot animation cancel it. And then you use chain heal. So this is literally a, a sustain build, all right? So you don't think you're gonna use a lot of burst damage. You're gonna nuke all the mobs wait no it's gonna it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen you're gonna use a portion of his dps you can help him out so keep that in mind so i will i'll just post out these videos because um you can switch you can switch this these abilities with also other abilities which you can um it's all your is preference because in defensive waves you you, you want to use aoe abilities so AOE abilities like this like you know like aoe abilities the reason why is because you're getting a lot of mobs on you and you want to clear them out at ASA, a -AS ASAP. So keep in mind, in dungeons, you you, div you use different kind of stuff. But in waves, you need AOE, a oh my God, AOE abilities. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. All right. So you can use a couple of, a couple of them. All right. I'm talking about my mages right now. A couple. So if you have a couple of AOE abilities, use that. But in dungeons don't use it don't do it right um because your friend he needs aoe abilities and if your friend's level 90 he needs aoe abilities he needs it because you you you, you need it you just need it um but you can switch your healing to universal heal but the problem is with universal heal is that this heal is very strong you can switch it you can use the AOE ability, right? This mobs will come in and get hit here, so you're good to go. But if you use Universal Heal, it has a 14 second cooldown. And the healing doesn't last that long. It doesn't. Only thing what it does for you is that it is very strong, Universal Heal. But it's very... It's not recommended in any builds. It's not. Universal Heal will heal you will heal the whole server if you don't know what i mean so chain heal will not catch up with these guys right there it will not 
but universal heal it will it will heal the whole server so let's just see look here in the corner everybody there gets healed everybody gets healed right there you can go all the way over here doesn't matter the whole block the whole entire area gets healed with universal heal but the pro big problem is the cooldown is terrible 14 second cooldown for 1.2 or 2.2 second healing but only it, it gives a shield too right this is literally your oh oh crap button like my healer my tank is gonna die oh you use that and everybody gets healed but it's it's not good it's not it's terrible it's terrible it's not it's a terrible ability never use it only if you don't if, if this is your only healing ability use it but i highly recommend chain heal because chain heal you got okay you gotta stick with your group right you gotta but it's a it's a six second cooldown it doesn't reach that long right it doesn't reach that long but it is still better like it will hit from here you see that chain so if you're if you only have one ally that's close to the other one it's gonna make a chain reaction everybody gets to heal and it's burst heal so six second cooldown instead of a 14 second cooldown i take it i take that one hands down all right so keep in mind again you can use you can use many first first stroke abilities keep that in mind you can use any first stroke abilities what i mean with first stroke is that your this is one right here it hits a lot you can see here it hits for a decent amount the ticks are good all right you see billions here because i'm a higher level uh higher level uh player but still it's gonna hit for a lot so keep that in mind aoe abilities are very essential um if you have like again if you have another if you have an aoe ability that is better than um better than mine ga uh, ghastly cannon barrage if it's better use it but highly recommend again aoe ability on point because aoe abilities will help you faster clear waves not solo abilities aoe abilities because more mobs are going to get hit instead of one mob only all right so yeah hope you guys are going to enjoy this quick ability uh quick build i don't know i don't have a name for this build i'm i'm it's a sustained build but i don't i don't know what build a uh uh the name of the build i don't know i will put a slap on us i will slap a, a name on this build because it's it's one of my favorite builds because an aoe ability and the healing ability i love those type of builds but I'm, i will slap a name on it all right as always hashtag zoe zo love young legend see you guys soon peace